Let's study stationary wave formation in open organ pipes. The section is similar to the previous section you have studied the stationary wave formation in closed organ pipe. If we consider an open organ pipe as we already studied in open organ pipe stationary waves can be established only when antinodes are obtained at both the open ends. That means when the wave is supplied to the organ pipe its wavelength should be such that at both the open ends antinodes should be produced. That means if we bring a tuning fork or a source of oscillations which will supply energy, it should be such that for the maximum wavelength the situation would be corresponding to the case which I am drawing. This should be the displacement curve where the length of the organ pipe should be equals to lambda by 2 because this is the situation when the maximum possible wavelength can establish a stationary wave in it. Here if we find out as the wavelength is maximum here if we find out the minimum oscillation frequency at which it is established it can be written as V by lambda and here you can see lambda can be written as 2L. So this V by 2L is the fundamental frequency for oscillations of an open organ pipe of length L. And if we talk about its first overtone is the next possible frequency at which the stationary waves can again be obtained. In that case if at both the ends 20 nodes are there we need to increase one loop in the displacement curve as I am drawing here you can see. Now if we talk about the wavelength it will be exactly equal to lambda because there are two complete loops within the length. So here if we find out the oscillation frequency we can write oscillation frequency will be V by L and it can be written as twice the fundamental frequency so it is second harmonic. So we can say this is the first overtone after the fundamental frequency at which stationary waves can be established. If we talk about the second overtone or the next possible frequency for establishment of stationary waves or in such a way at both the ends antinodes are obtained will increase one more loop. As we are increasing frequency wavelength is decreasing. So at a particular wavelength when one more loop is increased stationary wave will again establish. So here we can see the length can be written as there are 1, 2 and 2 half it will be 3 loops. So wavelength is such that length of organ pipe should be equals to 3 lambda by 2. So here oscillation frequency can be given as n is equals to v by lambda and here the wavelength can be written as 2l by 3. So this will be 3 times the fundamental frequency we can term it n3 and this is the third harmonic frequency which is the second overtone for establishment of stationary waves or the frequency at which waves can sustain in organ pipes at any other frequency other than these harmonics. If tuning fork is brought close to the system the waves will damp out. So in this situation we can also write down a note like we have written for a closed organ pipe. We can say in open organ pipes stationary waves are established at all harmonic frequencies of fundamental. That means if any external driving source is brought close to an open organ pipe and its frequency matches with any of the harmonic frequencies of the open organ pipe, automatically the waves will be established and will sustain in the organ pipe and we can see the phenomena of resonance is occurring and the organ pipe can resonate with any external source in uh, the particular condition when its harmonic frequency is matching with the driving source.